لا أقسم بيوم القيامة ولا أقسم بالنفس اللوامة أيحسب الإنسان أن لن نجمع عظامة بلا قادرين على أن نسوي بنانة The spirituality, spirituality, you know, what will increase your iman, what will increase your taqwa? Spirituality in modern discourse was replaced with psychology. Right? So instead of looking at it as something from the unseen, we want to figure it out from the seen. So if you're depressed, it may not have anything to do with spirituality. It must be some chemical imbalance in your body. Take some pills. You'll be fine. Right? So we even take the, the emotional states of human beings and we're trying to find for, for problems of the unseen, we're trying to find solutions in the seen, right? And it's destroying humanity. Suicide rates are higher than ever before in the modern world. And in some of the wealthiest counties in the United States, right? We're destroying human beings. Now, there is a feeling inside of us, a, a negative emotion called guilt. This negative emotion is called guilt. When does someone feel guilty? When they've done something bad. In modern psychology, guilt is not a good thing. So if somebody comes to a therapist and says, yeah, I took some, I drank some alcohol, I got drunk, I feel really guilty. The, the therapist says to him, you need to get rid of your guilt. You need to learn to forgive yourself. Your guilt is something that is a, a kind of a human flaw inside of us because you need to feel happy all the time. You need to feel happy. You need to let go of this negative emotion inside of you. There's too much negativity. Surah Al-Qiyamah begins, لا أقسم بيوم القيامة ولا أقسم بالنفس اللوامة the, Allah swears by the day of standing, the day of resurrection, and then Allah swears by the person, the nafs inside of us that feels what? Guilt over and over again. The people, the, the individual who feels guilty inside over and over again. Now these two things are actually lazim and malzum. They're tied to each other. What is the relationship between the day of judgment and guilt? Allah is telling us an incredible spiritual and psychological reality. A spiritual and psychological reality. What is that? You know, if you hear an alarm right now, and you hear an announcement, please exit the building, there's a fire in the building. If you heard that, what would you do? You'd exit. The purpose of an alarm is to warn you of a danger. Will you react even if you don't see a fire? Yes. What is enough for you? The alarm that woke you up. Allah created the human being with an innate sense of good, an innate predisposition towards doing the right thing. It's called our fitrah. And when we violate that spiritual programming inside of us, then Allah created a security mechanism inside of us. It is called al-lawm, al-nafsul lawama, guilt. Guilt is a gift from Allah warning you that what you are doing is violating your soul. And when will you see the, you don't see the danger. When you violate your soul, you don't see the danger. When will human beings truly see the danger that they were ignoring? Judgment day. The ultimate proof of judgment day is the psychological sentiment of guilt inside of ourselves. The proof of judgment day is every time you feel guilty, and it's not just Muslims who feel guilty. Every single human being was given the gift of guilt inside of them. So they could know when they're doing something wrong, this isn't right. I don't know, I feel like I'm going to get in trouble for this somehow. I, something inside me is not sitting well. You know kids that are, that are breaking into the teacher's desk, and they're kind of constantly looking to see if the teacher walks into the class, the feeling they have inside of them, oh, I'm gonna get caught, I'm gonna get caught, that loam inside of them, and especially when they get caught and they're humiliated, all of that is loam. Modern psychology cannot discuss this in a positive way, it can't. Because for them, there is no soul. <laughs> Mm-hmm.